When I first moved to LA, I got an agent and he called me one time. He goes, Eric, I got you an audition. And I go, great, what's the part? He goes, it's crackhead number two. Like, I don't know what's worse. The fact they think I look like a crackhead or the fact that I'm not good enough to be crackhead number one. <laughs> like, you look like a crackhead, but you don't look like a leader. Great, I'm the crackhead second banana. I'm the crackhead understudy. Then I started thinking, like, if something happens to the main crackhead, do I get to step up? Is that my time to shine? So I called the cops. I was like, yes, I see a man smoking crack. Where is he? Right now in his trailer getting his hair did. You'll know it's him. He's sitting in a chair marked crackhead number one. Yes, just look for the cameras. Take your time. I still need to memorize my lines. But if you're a comedian and you're self-deprecating, people just feel so comfortable insulting you after the show. Like, one time a guy came up to me after a show, and he's like, hey man, you know who you look like? And I, immediately I know it's going to be awful, because it always is. He goes, you look like uh, Gollum from Lord of the Rings. And, like, he's with all these hot girls, and he pulls his phone out, and he's like, do you mind doing, like, a little Gollum impression for us? And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to get laid. And I'm not doing too well as Eric Myers. I don't think dancing around like a goblin on Instagram is going to up my game. But, like, what if I did get laid after that? Like, I accidentally find some girl that has, like, a Gollum fetish. We start dating. Whenever she gets mad at me and gives me the silent treatment, I'm like, babe, babe, Eric wants the precious. She's like, oh my God, stop it. Eric wants to go in your cave of mystery. Eventually she'll want to get married, but I have a fear of commitment. She's like, where's my ring? I'm like, Bilbo stole it. <laughs>